So the truck is loaded full of tile gear because I have a quick door slammer tile job. It's probably going to be at best a day and a half to do a little entryway. And uh, I wasn't even going to film it actually originally because I thought it would be pretty boring. But uh, my clutch finally died on the way into work today. Today's Friday. So I think I'm just going to drop this stuff off at the job and start it on Monday. So I can't say I'm totally surprised that my clutch failed. Uh, it started acting up around, oh, I want to say about 2005. Ha <laughs> ha, that's seriously, 2005. When I bought this truck, I bought it, hold on, I got a shift. Ooh, the truck was 10 years old, it had 48,000 miles on it. And the old guy that had it had a bad leg or bad hip or something. He was having trouble shifting it and not, and not wearing the clutch out. So he took it into a shop, they wanted seven or 800 bucks for a clutch and uh, he figured he'd get an automatic instead so he'd sell this one as it sat i took it for a drive my test drive and i said well it's still got some life back in it uh we'll give it a shot we'll see you know we'll see so that's uh, what six or so years ago and i put i have put seventy four thousand miles on a clutch that needed replacement you just take it easy off the line and you shift easy and uh you know you've seen me travel through three different states 74,000 miles towing everything uh, the heaviest load I've towed here scaled out at like 3,800 pounds this little four-cylinder and uh, That was a load of concrete in that trailer, but uh, today's Friday March, uh, whatever second or something I think it's second. I don't know uh, It started acting up oh, it was fired up. There it goes. It started acting up on Sunday when I was towing my trailer to the dump and um, I knew something was up so of course I was super busy and I didn't get a chance to order the clutch kit until Wednesday stupid so I ordered the clutch kit on Wednesday it's an AC Delco made in the US and um, it'll be here today Friday so I'm cutting this workday short I'm just gonna drop all my tools off at this job turn around and go home because if this thing fails completely then uh, I don't want to be dealing with dragging it home at night uh, you know what I mean so it's all right, it's Friday. I had a full week. I'll get everything on site to start this job Monday. It'll be quick and painless. Let me show you how I've got to ship this thing to get her going. Who needs a clutch? Look, my foot is here. Clutches are overrated. I gotta steer with my knee. That's why I've been driving all week. That'll be, oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, hold on a sec. So we don't need no stinking clutch. I'm at a stop sign right now. Just put it in first gear. Okay, I can go now. Oh, I do have to push the clutch in to get the... Uh, easy, easy. Oh, Lord, that is messed up. I do have to push the clutch in to get it to start. But it's fully engaged still. See, you don't even need the clutch to shift. And then shut it off. See, this is the way I've been dealing all week. See, now it kind of worked that time. Sometimes it works, sometimes not so much. <laughs> well, I'm at the job here. Let's go inside and take it. So what I'm dealing with is I'm tearing this carpet out, and I'm going to tile this entryway. The uh, owners here have had nothing but grief trying to keep this carpet clean. I think I'm going to run. He wanted to run everything straight, like 18 by 18 tiles. I think I look pretty boring. I think I'm going to run some 4-inch border around and do the inset at an angle. I think that'd be fun. So we'll see. I'm a, I was going to tear out the carpet and put the tile board down today and get tile down today. But well, I got, like I said, I got to get home before the dark. So that'll be Monday's project. You know, got to stay flexible. But the good side, check this out. The good side about having to do this right at the entryway. Yeah, I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> See if I can get another 70,000 miles without a clutch. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Kind of hard on the starter. First gear starts. If you just keep those down to a minimum, you're okay. See, I was able to downshift right into second gear there. From a rolling, from a rolling stop, you can. Uh, 